Okay, welcome back. Uh, real quick today, I want to do just a quick tip for you on making your displacements uh, symmetrical. As you can see in the model here, it was originally a symmetrical model, but when you did the displacements, however you did it, whatever UV set you used, uh, it gave you a non-symmetrical displacement. Well, this particular model here, we can do it right now because uh, it's only uh, 200,000 polygons. This is a decimated version. As you can see, you could do just a quick mirror and weld and then get all the information that's on the, the left side over here to the right side. You can control Z that and if you wanted to save all the information on the right side and get it to mirror on the left side, you have to do a mirror first and then do a mirror weld and you can do it that way. Uh, real quick, I want to show you that there's a way to do it before you apply your displacements to get that uh, symmetry going for you if that's what you're looking for. Uh, asymmetrical models look wonderful. Uh, the symmetry it looks a lot better on like a spaceship and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to do uh, not polymesh 3D. We're going to do just a sphere 3D make poly mesh go under your geometry real quick we're just gonna make a simple dynamesh here turn project off drop it down to 64 turn dynamesh on there we go we're gonna just do a little symmetry here uh, pull out some shapes real quick do a quick move on it just gonna pull some shapes out here don't have any thought in mind of what I'm making just uh, just trying to make some interesting shapes so it displaces nicely you know so and we do a quick uh, slice curve this way we can generate some nice little poly groups on there do a quick mirror weld there so we can get a symmetrical model here and we'll pick those two groups group visible just keep them together do a quick uh, polish by groups turn polyfill off here so we can see it just keep on repeating to active there Get a nice little chiseled edge there. We'll do it again after we remesh it here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Turn polyfill on. Turn dynamesh off. Modified topology under Z remesh, actually. Keep groups. Keep it at the default there. Five and adaptive. And because we had symmetry on, it created a nice symmetrical model. Little wonky topology back there, but we'll just do. We've got it down to about 8,000 points. Do a little more polish by groups there. And I'll start cleaning some of that up. I'll just keep on repeating the active here. So. Alright, now let's go to our UV map. 4096, map border to zero, create UVP load up our texture that we want okay uh, we could do see how two looks here do a two in the V see how that's looking maybe drop him back down to one okay so if you remember every time you do a mirror and weld everything on the left side will mirror over to the right side. So right now, if we wanted, all we had to do is do mirror weld. Boom. We now have symmetrical tiling on our little 
object here. You can still mess with the repeat if you want it. It's still going to hold on to everything for us. We can drop him to one if we wanted. Bring him up to three. See what kind of interesting shapes we get out of it. These are going to make some very nice shapes along the side of this whatever it is. Mouse? I don't know. Uh, now let's open up our displacement. Turn our mode on. Crank up the intensity. We're still at a low poly. So let's divide it up with the smooth UV and SMT on. Pretty neat. So yeah, you could do you could do this uh, symmetrical at the preview stage, uh, checking out the symmetry, see how it looks. Let me drop him down just a hair. Then I can fine tune the displacement. Can either explode it out some more or crank it above the midpoint. And I'll start pulling everything in. And then you can also turn the displacement off, turn that quick 3D edit back on, keep your poly count low there, and you can do some more moving around if you wanted. Make some interesting shapes there. You can tighten him up, raise him up. Alright. Uh, hit displacer back on, mode back on. Crank up your subdivisions. Then just do your quick drop your subdivisions, export him out real fast, save him as export, and then re import him back in. Change your UV map back down to one and one. There we go. Now everything's back to where it should be. Bring your subdivisions back up. I think we're at. 2 million right now. We, I think we could divide him one more time without getting out of hand. We're going up to 8.147 million. And now apply your displacement. Turn your quick back on. And there you have it. A symmetrical displaced model. All right, thanks guys. Hope you uh, find this useful. Definitely uh, give me a comment or uh, post it on Zebra Central. Find me over there and uh, let me know how it worked out for you. Thanks.